Well, you guys, this is what we ended up with yesterday. I'm really happy with it. Everything is perfectly level. This guy was giving me a hard time, but I finally got that other one cut. Got this in here. It did crack just a tiny bit, but nothing that you guys would be able to see. So it's plenty strong enough. I mean, I tamped the crap out of these things, so I don't think they're going to go anywhere. As you can see right here, like this is the actual barn. And this beam was placed there to, to bring it in a little bit. And the bottom of this beam is completely rotted, so it has absolutely no structural support at all. So that's actually what I'm going to do today is dig that out a little bit so I can put a block in there. And then I will be replacing this beam with a new one. There is a support right here, so ideally I would like to cut below this. I don't know how effective that's going to be because this is pretty rotted out up into here. But we're going to give it a chop about right here and then see what we can do there's plenty of holes in this that just leaks right down into the barn itself so i think first we're going to go ahead and rip all this vine down and see what we can do about that What's up you guys new day new me we're out here in the barn working out again and i decided to pour concrete because everybody asked me why i didn't do it the reason that i didn't do it is because there's already a lip here and there wasn't on this side and i'll go ahead and show you that right now so yeah down here this was actually level so if we got too much rain it would wash you know into the barn here and that's why i originally did this here but a bunch of people asked me why i didn't continue it down this way number one there's a lip probably like a couple inches beneath that concrete so essentially i just made it overkill which is fine i had enough concrete to do it and i figured why not and on this side i mean look at this i'm not gonna worry about it there and i can't do it anyways because there's gonna be a door here right here is gonna be a steel double door and there's gonna be two big windows on each side which i'm gonna make out of those right there uh, i got the concrete poured and we're gonna go ahead and start building this wall I've got that treated 2x4 to go on the bottom, then I have the rest of the lumber over in the barn that we're going to use, so let's get started framing this up. I'm going to have to find some way to seal this up against this rock, so I guess I will just pour some mortar and fill this up and box it in afterwards. I still got to cut this off, but maybe we'll go ahead and cut this off right now. Go grab the chainsaw, get that done, and go grab the rest of the lumber. So as you guys saw, this post is completely rotted out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off where I think the rot stops 
and we're just gonna put another treated six by six underneath. It's just gonna make this easier to seal up as well. Obviously it has no structural support as it's actually resting on all of this stone right now, which was never part of the original structure, obviously. And this post right here kind of replaced that corner section. But as you can see, it's sagging real bad right here. So I'm probably gonna have to put another jack underneath here. That won't be a problem because I can put it right next to my wood stove, which is gonna go there. I'm not sure if I said it yet, but I'll say it again. I did decide to put my wood stove towards the center of the barn like a lot of you suggested. I was aware that that is the best place to have a wood stove in a central location. But the problem with that is I didn't really wanna go through a perfectly good roof. The more I thought about it, the more I was like, I want to have the workspace and it's just going to take up way too much room over here because originally I was going to have it sitting right here and just have the stovepipe go up and out just like the old setup that was on this side. But I'm actually going to put the wood stove kind of like right by the KX100 here and it's going to go up into the second story which is just on the other side of that wall and then out the roof. So it's going to be a straight shot. It's going to draft well and overall I think it's just going to work better in the end for the setup that I want. But let's go ahead and get that beam cut off and see what we can do about this six by six. Yeah, I'm actually gonna tighten that. That's a wee bit too sketchy for me. So I got that block all nice and tamped down and it's ready to have a six by six on top of it. I'm gonna measure the length, cut the beam, and install it. Well, you guys, it is wall time. I'm gonna wrap things up for tonight, and first thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna come out here, start framing things up, and we're gonna have a wall by the end of the day. I got the six by six in place, concrete poured, and pretty much all of the difficult stuff is done, so just time to do some basic framing, cut some metal to fit, and I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get done tomorrow. So if you're excited, make sure you leave a thumbs up and let me know, but until tomorrow's video, I'll see you then.